we've drawn the fish as this purple dot and we've indicated that the fishing line is pulling back on the fish as the fish swims to the right as shown by this red vector. So we have labeled that force with which the fish is being pulled backward as tension because it's basically the tension in the fishing line. We know the initial velocity of the fish is 2.8 meters per second, which again we've shown pointing to the right. And we're trying to stop this, this fish. So the final velocity is going to equal zero meters per second. And furthermore, we're trying to stop the fish with a displacement of 11 centimeters. So we could say that delta x is equal to 0.11 meters. Notice we converted that by moving the decimal place two places to the left. What we're going to need is the acceleration of the fish in bringing it to rest. And we may recall from one-dimensional kinematics that the final velocity squared is equal to the initial velocity squared plus two times the acceleration times the displacement. So we'll go ahead and we'll fill in the known values. Again, the final velocity is zero. The initial was the 2.8 meters per second, don't forget to square that value, plus two times acceleration times our displacement of 0.11 meters. Why don't we go ahead and square the 2.8, which gives us 7.84, but then subtract it over to the left side. So you'll have negative 7.84 meters squared per second squared is equal to, and then two times the 0.11 would give us 0.22 meters and then that's times acceleration. We'll finish off solving for acceleration by dividing both sides of this by the 0.22 meters. And when we do so, it'll cancel out on the right-hand side. And we have an acceleration now of negative 35.6. And this will come out in meters per second squared. So there's the acceleration. We want the tension. We recall from Newton's second law that the net force acting on the fish would equal its mass times its acceleration. The net force we're assuming is just the tension. It's the only force pulling back on the fish that's causing this acceleration. So we're just going to say T equals mass times acceleration. The mass of the fish can be determined because we were given the weight of the fish. It was 85 newtons. We recall that weight is equal to mass times the gravitational constant. So we'll take the weight of 85 newtons and set that equal to mass times the gravitational constant 9.8 meters per second squared. Divide both sides of that by the 9.8 meters per second squared. That will give you the mass of this fish, which turns out to be about 8.67 kilograms. So you'll fill that in for the mass. You'll fill the acceleration we obtained in for A, and this will help us solve for the tension. So here we go. Here's the mass times the acceleration. And so when we multiply these together, we're going to get a tension in the fishing line of about negative 309 newtons. You'll notice it comes out negative. That's because we assumed the tension was pulling back to the left on the fish. Let's see if they want the negative sign or not. They want the minimum strength, so probably just the magnitude is what you need, so we'll say that the tension is 309 newtons.